we propose end-to-end -end optimization of optics and image processing for achromatic extended depth of field and super-resolution imaging. The visual systems of animals are adapted to their environments, an example of domain-specific optics. On the other hand, modern photography tools give humans more and more powerful ways to record visual information. Yet conventional lenses mimic human vision by focusing light to a single point, a general-purpose approach at odds with the diversity of imaging tasks. Conventional optical design is complicated, involving compound systems to focus light and minimize aberrations. But for digital imaging systems, what matters is not the measured image, but rather the post-processed image. The key concept of our paper is to optimize imaging systems end-to-end -end for reconstruction quality. This simplifies optical design and enables novel domain-specific solutions. We propose a stochastic gradient-based optimization framework, enabled by modern GPU hardware and deep learning tools. The first step is a fully differential PSF simulation module, accounting for diffractive propagation to the sensor, wavelength, and source depth. Next, the simulated PSF is convolved with a batch of images from a large RGB image dataset and corrupted with sensor read noise. Then we apply optimization-based image processing to reconstruct the image from the measurements. Finally, a loss is defined directly on the output of the image reconstruction algorithm. Gradients with respect to the loss are backpropagated all the way to the optical element. We use wave optics or diffractive propagation as the platform to design lenses. Wave optics enables a broad design space, including refractive lenses and ultra-thin diffractive lenses but is still simple enough to be efficiently evaluated and differentiated through. Here we see the optical element height map and simulated PSF converging to a solution over stochastic gradient iterations. Using state-of-the-art photolithography and diamond turning manufacturing techniques, we obtain compact form factor lenses that match the performance in simulation. We next show two sets of experimental results achromatic extended depth of field, and super-resolution imaging. For achromatic extended depth of field, we optimize the lens in reconstruction for image quality across a range of wavelengths and depths. Here we show videos captured outdoors with a large depth range. The optimized lens was fabricated by diamond turning. We focused a regular biconvex lens at one depth. We observed that our proposed lens exhibits less depth variant blur, so as to yield a better all-in-focus result after image processing. Here's an additional example with a large depth range. In addition, we fabricate an optimized lens using photolithography. Here we compare with a Fresnel lens for a scene with large depth range. Here's an additional example with a large depth range. Notice the severe chromatic aberrations for the Fresnel lens. For super-resolution imaging, the optimized lens multiplexes subpixel shifted image copies across the sensor, which the reconstruction assembles into a higher resolution image. We optimize the lens in reconstruction to upsample by 2x. The prototype lens was fabricated with photolithography and outperforms digital zoom techniques in real world captures. Here we have overlaid a Fresnel lens image with bicubic upsampling and the optimized lens with deconvolution. Here is an additional example captured with the same setup. In conclusion, we investigate the joint design of optics and image reconstruction for refractive and diffractive optical elements. The proposed approach is a promising technique for designing domain-specific cameras which easily extends to semantic tasks such as cameras for image classification and face recognition.